everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to be going through two octaves arpeggios, hands separately and hands together. Um, I've just done a video on two octave scales, so that will all be linked in the description bar underneath, and there's free printouts. And what I've just done here is I've just written out C major, D major, F major, G major, A minor and D minor arpeggio, just the basics, and I've done them two octaves. So two octaves is just sort of double what you would perhaps normally do. So this is one octave. So two octaves is just twice that. So an arpeggio is like a broken up version of a scale. So if you've got the C major scale, the arpeggio is the first, the third, and the fifth notes of any scale. So what I'm gonna do is show you C major arpeggio separately in each hand and hands together. And then I will, I'll go through that and then I'll just show you the rest of them so you can see how they're done. So what I'm gonna do first is do the right hand. So I'm gonna be looking at this part of the sheet here. So I'm gonna be using these, these are the letters. And when I play C, I need to put my thumb or finger one on. When I play E, I need to put finger two on. G is finger three, C is finger one. So I'm just I'm just following it from what I see here. So one on E, one sorry, one on C, two on E, three on G, one on C, so try and keep your third finger on there. Sort of swing your thumb under to hit that C. Same thing, two on E, three on G, five on C. Straight back down, so you can keep your hands there and you, you're pretty much already done. Three on, three on G, two on E, one on C. Cross that third finger right over to the three on G, two on E, one on G. So the, one on C, sorry. So these are much easier to do than scales, I would say. So if I do that again, one, two, three, one, two, three, five, three, two, one, cross that three right over, three, two, one. And I'm gonna go straight over to the other side and do the same thing with the left hand, but obviously with that fingering. So it's the same order of notes, but I'm just using the left hand fingering. Five on C, four on E, two on G, one on C, cross that four over on E, two on G, one on C. Straight back down, two on G, four on E, tuck that thumb under for the C, two on G, four on E, and five on C. So when you do the tucking unders and the crossing over, keep your thumb on and just, what you don't want to do is jump to it because you'll get a horrible, and you don't want it to sound like you're, you don't want to sound like you're galloping through these. So doing these together, So the hands are going to be doing slightly different things. So the right hand doesn't use a finger four and the left hand doesn't use a finger three. I'm going to go through the D major one now. So I'm going to do F major. And now G major. So can you see how my fingers all have contact with the notes? I'm not, I'm not kind of making them staccato. I'm trying to keep them legato. Legato is Italian for smooth. So I'm keeping them all on and I'm not taking them off until I get to the next one. And then when I have to tuck under, I'm keeping them on so I can make them nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna do A minor. finally D minor. So there we go, I hope that has helped you. I might suggest that you try these scales hand separately before you try them together. Um, if you try them separately first and make sure you know them, you'll have a much better chance of putting them together. So thank you for watching, links in the description bar underneath. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.